Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa Peterson and today we will be going over the Checkout Bidder screen. The Checkout Bidder button is located under the Auction Day section of the Easy Navigator or on the top toolbar under the Checkout button. As you can see, when you open up the Checkout customer screen, there will be a list of bid card numbers on the left hand side if you've clicked items to those bid cards. Clicking on any of these bid card numbers, you can see the lot that this bidder purchased as well as the name at the top. You can click the Buyer Preprint button at the top of the screen to print out a list of the items that this bidder has bid on. This is helpful when a buyer wants a list of the items that they've purchased so far but are not yet ready to check out. You can set the auto print options by clicking on the auto print button on the left hand side. Majority of the time, auctioneers will set these settings to prompt for printers on first print only, then automatic print invoices to the printers. What this means is that when you're printing an invoice on the very first invoice you print, it will ask what printer you'd like to print to, and then every invoice after that, the system will automatically print to that printer. The number of copies is also determined by the screen. You can set it to two or three, depending on how many copies of the invoice that you like. You can also specify a different printer for each copy. Once these settings are correct, just go ahead and click back into the checkout button to return to the checkout screen. A cool feature in the checkout screen is the checkout presenter. The checkout presenter allows you to present the items to the bidder on a separate screen. This is helpful at checkout so the bidder can verify the items that they purchased and the bid price. If any changes are needed, you can make those directly in the checkout screen. If a change is needed to be made to a bid amount, you can highlight the item and click change bid amount. So this bidder said that they purchased both of these items for 150 total instead of 180. You can highlight it, hit click, click change bid amount and change this to 150. Changed my unit price and my extended price all at once. Once the bidder verified their items are correct, you can go ahead and click on invoice all bids. This will put all of the bids on one single invoice. Now we're in the invoice screen. From this screen, you can see that the quantity, the unit price, and that this item is taxable. Let's say for some reason this item is not taxable. Just highlight the item, click tax one, then it removes the tax from this item. You can click tax one to toggle the tax on and off any item that you want. And again, in the screen, if you need to edit the price, you just highlight the item and hit edit price. If you need to remove the item, from the invoice, you just go ahead and click remove. You can also click edit item to edit any of the information on the item, such as the lead, description, quantities, etc. You can go to invoice charges tab to add an invoice charge, such as delivery fee. You can also check that this is taxable or non-taxable. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as non-taxable. To set up a shipment, you can click on the pickup slash shipping tab. Click the green plus sign on the left hand side. Verify that the shipping information is correct at the top. Enter in the pounds. And this item is going to be three pounds. I'm going to click on the quick set specifications. This will pull up a list of the preset envelopes and boxes to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the USPS medium flat rate box. My insured value right now is 180, which is the hammer price. Once I click get shipping rates, it will contact Easy Post and get my shipping rates for that box that I entered. Just double click on it. Now I can click Add Shipping and Handling Charge. What this will do is add in a charge, which is the shipping cost from Easy Post, plus a handling fee that you set up in the Settings and Options screen. Click OK. Now I can add invoice receipt. And they're going to pay me with a check. My check number is going to be 5265 and then click done. And right now it's asking me where I would like to print my invoice. Select my printer and click OK. And as you can see, it printed out two copies. Then I can scroll down and click buy shipment slash postman. What it's doing is it's contacting Easy Post to go ahead and buy that shipment. Now it's going to ask me where I would like to print my shipping label. I'm going to go ahead and print, select the same printer that I just printed my invoices to. A pop-up will ask what the contents of the shipment is. You can actually specify what the items are. For this, I'm just going to put in the one, the baseballs, and then click OK. After I click OK, it's going to pop up an email that will be sent to the bidder with the shipment information. Go ahead and click Send, and it actually has the invoice attached to that email as well. Once that's 
finish, go ahead and click save. It's going to ask if all the lots on this invoice are now shipped. You can create a separate shipment for each item if you like, or you can specify some items are being shipped and some items are being picked up. I'm going to go ahead and click yes and exit the form. Once I close out of the invoice, you can see the invoice information on the very bottom. At any point, if you need to get back into that invoice, you can double click on it to reopen the invoice. We're gonna go ahead and start invoicing some other bidders as well. If you pull up a bidder and they claim that they did not win an item, you can highlight the item, and if you know what the correct bid card number is, you highlight the item and click Change Bid Card. And I'm gonna change this to bid card number 15 and click OK. Now that we just have the items that this bidder purchased, they're going to verify that the items are correct and again click invoice all bids. This particular bidder has an outstanding invoice. What this is is they've been to an auction previously and did not pay their invoice. This pop-up will appear at check-in as well as check-out. I'm going to click no to not continue checking out this customer. What this will do next is ask me if I want to pull up their information. I'm going to click yes. At this point, I can go down to buyer history and invoices to see all of her outstanding invoices. You can double click on these to add a receipt. She's gonna go ahead and pay me cash for this item. And cash for this, this invoice as well. Now that her previous invoices are taken care of, I can go back to the checkout screen and click invoice all bids. And go ahead and pay for this item. She gave me cash. She gave me $100, so I'm going to actually enter in $100 right here. Now when I click done, it's going to print my invoice, and then it's going to pop up the change due back to the buyer. Once that's finished, go ahead and close the door, and it will close this invoice. If a bidder comes back and wants to change the way that they are paying, so let's say this Betty Boo bidder, she paid with cash, but now she wants to pay with a check. Double click on the invoice to open it. Go to receipts. Double click on the receipt and then you can change the payment type. Another great tip is if a bidder comes up to the checkout station and does not know their bid card number, you can start typing in their name and we'll automatically bring them up for you. Now that I found their information, I'm going to go ahead and click on invoice all bids to invoice their bids. For this, this bidder is going to pay with a credit card, so I'm going to click add receipt on the right hand side and then credit card on the left. Swipe the credit card using my credit card swiper, and then I'm going to enter in the security code. I have a surcharge rate of 3% for using credit cards. When you swipe a credit card, it will identify the payment as a credit card and automatically add that 3%. This setting is set up in the settings and options screen. Once this is correct, I'm going to go ahead and click process payment and we'll automatically process the payment and then print out the invoice as well as the credit card receipt. Once that's done, I can close the door and then move on to checking out the next bidder. The next screen we're going to look at is the Find Lot screen. This is helpful when a bidder comes up to the checkout screen, says that they purchased an item, but it's not listed on the checkout screen under their bid card number. You can come in here and enter in the information or just the basic description of that item and then hit enter. It will pull up the item. Now this particular item was clerked to bid card number 45 when it should have been clerked to bid card number 5. So I'm going to hide it. Hi I'm going to highlight the item and click change bid card and then change it to bid card number five. Now I can go back to the checkout screen, click bid card number five, and you'll see that item is now here. For this bidder, the first two items listed, they purchased for their personal use, and the third item was purchased for work. They want separate invoices for these items. I'm going to highlight the first two items, which they want on one invoice, and click invoice selected bids. This put just those two items on an invoice. I can now add a receipt, and she's going to pay me cash. Again, I'm going to enter in the amount that she actually gave me and click done. Now that this invoice is done, I'm going to close the door. It's going to return me back to the checkout screen. I'm going to highlight that one item and click invoice selected bids. I'm going to click no to check out to a new invoice. And now I can pay this one with a company check. To have an idea of what the invoice looks like, I'm just going to go ahead and do a preprint here real quick so you can take a look. We'll have your information at the top. If you have a logo set up in the system, it will print your logo right here. We'll show paid in full if it is paid in full. We'll show the item information, the quantity, the extended price, the buyer's premium, 
tax and invoice total. And then it will also show the payment type. If you put anything in the notes field, it will print right here. You can add different headers, different footers to the invoice. The invoice is really customizable depending on what you need, and there's several different printing options that go along with the invoice. Once this is done, you go ahead and close the door to again to return to the checkout screen. If the auction is now over and all of your bidders have left, you can still see all of these bidders have not checked out. To invoice all of these bidders at once, you can click bidders left on the left hand side and then click invoice all bidders. This will go ahead and create an invoice for all of the bidders left. Once completed, you can go ahead and click OK. Now what you can do is go to Advanced and Email Invoices. This will give you the option to just email out the outstanding invoices by double clicking on Outstanding Invoices Only. You will want to make sure your email settings are set up correctly first under the Miscellaneous Settings and Options screen. At any point, you can go to the Invoice button on the left hand side to see all of your invoices. You can also filter for only invoices with a balance due. Like every screen in Auction Flex, there's a reports button on the left hand side that will have several different reports that correspond with the checkout screen. That's it for today's tutorial on the checkout bidder screen. For more videos, please visit our website at auctionflex.com.